What's going on everyone? My name is Jose and welcome back to Jared 2 Productions. Now today we're going to be talking about the DJI Spark, whether it's relevant in 2020. So the DJI Spark came out in 2017, kind of like a beginner drone that DJI decided to launch. Um, at the time, not many could afford the Phantom or the Mavic that had just come out. But at the time for the money, the size and the features that it had, it was still a very decent drone. So let's list off some of the features that the DJI Spark had. So most drones now can do 4K at 30 or 24 frames now the DJI spark could only do 1080 at 30 frames 1080 that the DJI spark offered wasn't bad but it also didn't let you control as much as the newer drones let you of course flight time being one of the most important features of a drone the DJI spark only had 16 minutes but honestly it kind of only felt like 10 minutes the max speed of the DJI spark was around 31 miles per hour which is still incredibly fast um, I never flew it that fast. I kind of just took it up and got the shots that I needed at a slow pace. Not really 31 miles an hour, but it's still very fast for a little drone like this. And the max ascend was around 10 feet, so not too bad, um, but obviously the newer ones do go a lot higher. Now the max distance is only 100 meters, uh, which might sound like a lot, but once you get the drone up and going, it doesn't really feel like it goes that far. And that is because it's limited to the Wi-Fi capabilities of the connection of the drone and the remote. Uh, the newer drones do have a much better connection and it is no longer on Wi-Fi. But overall, the DJI Spark was an amazing drone for the time and the capabilities that it had in such a small little drone. I believe in October of 2019, DJI discontinued the Spark for the new big brother, the Mavic Mini. The Mavic Mini is basically a Spark 2.0. The Mavic Mini is better in so many ways. First off, it had a 3-axis gimbal compared to the two axis gimbal that the DJI Spark had. The Mavic Mini can also do 4K instead of just a 1080 that the Spark has. 31 minutes of flight time, which is incredible. It's basically the same amount of flight time that the much bigger drones have of DJI's line and double the range. Now, one of the features that it does have that many videographers do look for and want in a drone is having the ability to change the color, kind of a cinematic feel. Um, more of a flat profile, which is what the new Mavic Mini has. Um, it also does have cinematic modes if you want to go ahead and flip them to those. Um, but the DJI Spark only had the 1080 recording at the profile that it comes with. You could never really change the profile that it had, which is kind of unfortunate. But for those beginner um, drone pilots or those beginner videographers, that is perfectly fine. Now, I'm not saying that the DJI Spark is a garbage drone. I love this DJI Spark. I've had it since it came out. I bought the Fly More combo and I've never had any issues with it. Now that drone technology is becoming so advanced, I would love to have a drone that records up to 4K optional and be able to change the color profiles, which is a massive thing when it comes to videography. And unfortunately, the Spark does not offer that. But at the time, when I first got the Spark, it was an incredible drone. Uh, it was my first drone, so it was a great practice to learn how to actually fly a drone, uh, which is, I was very nervous about. Um, I had never bought a drone before that, and this was my first professional drone. Now for the question, would I recommend a Spark in 2020? I would say yes. If you are starting to get into drones or want to get into drones, the DJI Spark is a perfect fit. You can find a whole lot of DJI Sparks on uh, websites like Craigslist probably or eBay um, or even Facebook Marketplace. If you can find one for under $200 or $300, I definitely recommend you get it. Get a feel for it, play around with the settings that it does have, and maybe from there you can upgrade to one of the big brothers of the Spark. Now, if you are wanting to buy new, I definitely recommend just go ahead and getting the Mavic Mini since it does offer so much for the price that the Spark at one point was. But it all just depends on your preference. Um, I'm probably going to stick around with the DJI Spark for now. I don't really do a lot of drone work in my videos since a lot of my videos are inside. But when I do go outside and I want to work on drone work, I call my friend Biggest Ray Ray, which I'll link him up here and I'll also link him down below. He, for me, is one of the professionals here in Tulsa that does an incredible, an incredible job with all of his drone work when it comes to photography and video. And he's also worked on big profiles um, and he's had a lot of drones over the years and a lot of hours. So I definitely trust Ray. I'll link him down below and up here where you guys can check out his 
um, page and check out some of his videos. If you do have any questions on the DJI Spark or you're wanting to get into DJI, um, please let me know down below and I'll do the best I can to help you out. And if there's any advanced questions, I'll probably just send it over to my friend Biggest Ray Ray and he'll be able to help you out more. Um, I'm very limited to my knowledge of drones. I like to invest more into cameras than I do drones. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any questions on anything, please let me know down below. And if not, um, you guys have a great weekend or week and stay safe out there. I know these are some crazy times, but I will see you guys in the next video. See you.